Hey, Mike Roderick here, edutainer at IT Pro TV, and we're getting ready for another episode of How to Get Started in IT. In this episode, I'm going to tell you how I got started in IT. So this is my story of how I got started in IT. Way back when, before I was in IT, I was actually in the restaurant industry. I had worked just about every position you can think of, dishwasher, busboy, server, cook, bartender, and had finally made it up to management. And I thought, man, this is where it's at, right? This is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. And then it was the same thing every day. It was like the old commercial, time to make the donut. Time to make the donut. I just did the same thing over and over and was so bored out of my mind. And one day I'm out there cleaning off the pigeon poop from our patio tables and I decided to make a change. I was like, this is it. I've got to figure out something else. Computers had always been a hobby of mine, right? I played games. <laughs> surf the internet, well, what was the internet back then? And I thought, you know, maybe I can make a career out of that. So I took a look at some different avenues of, of education, some traditional college methods, uh, and found a school that offered some classes and gave me the ability to kind of do a sampling of different areas and give me a chance to figure out what it is that I wanted to do. So initially I thought web design, man, that's gonna be exciting. You know, web uh, was big at the time. Every business needed a website. Everybody wanted to hire a web administrator, somebody to work on their website, design their website for them. I thought that's what I'm going to do. So I started taking some classes and I realized that I was missing something. I'm not a very creative person. I could stare at a list of fonts for an hour and not be able to pick the right one. So web design, psh, not for me. But because I chose a place that had a bunch of different offerings, I was able to switch over and try some other things. I tried some network administration courses, some Cisco stuff, and I did some Microsoft stuff. And I found that, man, that really excited me. I'm so excited! I liked the idea of managing the servers. The stuff in the background that people don't see, that makes the network work. The stuff that allows you to log on and access those resources that you need to do your job. I thought, man, this is where it's at. So now I knew what I wanted to do. I was going to be a network administrator. So I changed gears. I started taking all my Microsoft classes and I got certified. I got my MCSA and my MCSE and now I'm ready to go out and get a job. The funny thing happened. The school that I was attending to get these certifications was actually looking for an instructor. And they came to me and said, hey, Mike, we know you. You've been taking classes here for a year. We like your, your personality. What do, you, what do you think about teaching? And I thought to myself, hmm, never really thought about it before. Let's give it a try. And now I found my passion. I thought it was going to be web design. Then I thought it was going to be network administration. Ends up I wanted to be an instructor, right? An IT instructor. And this is why I say, if you've watched our other episodes on how to get started in IT, find a place that gives you a buffet that'll let you change gears if you want to. Mm. It's really important that you guys sample and try different things because you never know what it is that you're really going to like, that you're going to be passionate about. And that's the important thing. Find something that you're going to enjoy doing. You want to go to work every day happy, not thinking, oh God, it's time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. You know, it's funny too, because they say hindsight is 2020, and I can remember one of my report cards when I was in, I don't know, elementary school, and I got in trouble. I had a little note written to my parents that Mike has failed to get his work done again. The reason wasn't because I, I didn't understand it or I didn't try to do it. I was busy helping everybody else and making sure that they understood uh, what they were supposed to be doing. So it's almost like a little bit of foreshadowing there. I was meant to be an instructor. So choose wisely, pick a good training provider, somebody like IT Pro TV that'll let you sample a bunch of different areas, find what it is that you're passionate about. And that's how I got started in IT. So what's your story? How did you get started in IT? Make sure you leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to How to Get Started in IT. I'm Mike Roderick. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.